So fortunate to be involved with the Sydney Hot Rod and Custom Auto Expo a few years now with Nostalgia Lane. Nostalgia Lane is a section of the show which was really inspired through my visit to Grand National Roadster Show a couple of times seeing the Suede Palace, which was really about real hot rods, real hot rod clubs, driven cars, not show cars. Having a place and having an important part of our indoor car shows. My good mate Sean, who's in the club, he was a big part of it. You know, he had taken trips to Japan and was super inspired by the Moon Eyes and the Japan show scene. Um, so it's kind of a bit of a hybrid between the Suede Palace and Moon Eyes for us, which we really thought was cool. How do we bring that into, you know, the indoor show car side of it, which, you know, is a little bit different, more focused on quality and judging and that's important, it needs to be in our scene, but a lot of the guys that were going to those shows didn't feel like they had a place there because their cars weren't necessarily as detailed or they were built to be driven or have fun with their mates. People tell me we have, you know, relit the fire for a lot of people to come back to indoor car shows and that part of our scene has a place there, so yeah, pretty proud of that. Nostalgia Lane in its entirety was always going to be about traditional hot rods, nostalgia drag cars, customs, low riders and bombs. Each year we don't exclusively have a theme, a theme as in we will only have those cars but we'll push to have more of that type of car. This year through the help of Michael Morris we're pretty passionate about digging out some Survivor uh, Aussie hot rods, show car hot rods so this year's theme is going to be about uh, the 50s, 60s and 70s Survivor show cars, early hot rods. The early hot rod uh, show car styling has probably been overlooked in Australia for a long time. There's been a few guys restore some cars in the last five to ten years back to you know, the way they were built, but that's not how people are building cars today, so it's, it's not prevalent. I'm excited to see a bunch of you know, Survivor hot rods and you know, I think there'll be some mixed uh, reactions, but I think people are going to really enjoy seeing, well that's how they were and that's what they look like and the way they were done back then, because it's not been something at the forefront. More so in recent times it's coming back, but definitely something I think has been overlooked. Nostalgia Lane, you know, again inspired from Suede Palace. It's not about a judge book. Uh, most of the cars are not judged. They can be if they choose to, but most aren't. When I set about kicking this off, I reached out to the car clubs and the guys that were prevalent in the scene and asked them, invited them to come along as a club and asked them to put forward a club pick, not a trophy bought off the shelf, build something out old parts or pinstripe or paint something and give it to the car that for whatever your criteria is, whether it's the car you want to drive home, whether it's the car you think is the coolest, whether it's the loudest, the fastest, whatever it is, you give it to that person, your criteria. I think it changes the mindset of, hey, I need to have a car that ticks boxes as opposed to build something that's cool or build something you love. And if someone else thinks it's cool too, well, that's great.